Hi, welcome. It's Bubble Talk with Burge. I'm live, ready for you. Are you ready to get burged? Well, I'm ready for you. It's Friday and I'm ready to pull the cards of Essence of Being, my beautiful cards. Uh, let's see if you can see them with my new light kit. See? So I wanted just to say, hi, Xiaomi. I wanted just to say that I'm really looking forward to this Friday. Um, it's the Dogwood Festival here in Atlanta and um, it should be beautiful out for most of the time. Last weekend I was in Washington DC and it was snowing. What? What? It's April. Anyway, uh, just welcome, welcome. Are you ready to get burged? I'm ready for you. So hi Zeovi. So the deal is I'm going to pull as usual from my deck of Essence of Being. I'm going to pull a card for all of us so that we can focus on something that we want to focus on. These cards are my Essence of Being cards and you can get them on essenceofbeing.com and pull them for yourself. But I wanted to just um, pull them for this weekend to see what our focus is for the weekend. And Bubble Talk with Burge is all about your bubble talk. And you might say, if you've never seen this or if you're watching the recording, what's Bubble Talk, Burge? Bubble talk is a subconscious thought that keeps you from getting what you want. It's like having that bubble above your head that you see in cartoon characters. So the cartoon characters have that bubble above their head. And they say, hi, Denise. And they, it says something about what they're thinking. So that's your real thought. Those are your subconscious, your unconscious thoughts. Hi, Erica. Those are your subconscious thoughts that are sitting there. Okay. So you have a conscious thought saying, I want to be rich, I want to be happy, I want to have the best relationship, I want to have purpose in my life, I want to be able to trust people, so whatever that is. Hi Denise. So what happens sometimes is when we have that conscious thought and that's what we choose to have in our life, sometimes our bubble talk or a subconscious thought or unconscious thought could be blocking us because it's not aligned with what we want. So for instance, you might be saying, I want to have a red Mercedes, but then your subconscious thought or your bubble talk is saying you're not worthy or you don't deserve it. And so what hap or there's not enough. So what happens is if you're not aligned with your conscious and your subconscious thought, it's really difficult sometimes. And they've proven in quantum physics, they've proven how there's 40,000 more subconscious thoughts. So if that's true, if you have 40,000 more subconscious thoughts than you, than you do conscious thoughts, then how important is it for you to know what that is? Because my friends, that's what's running the bus. That's what's running us, that subconscious thought, our bubble talk. So it's sort of like having a gas and the brake on at the same time when you're driving your car. So if you have your gas on, which is your conscious thought, it's what you want and your desires. But if you have your brake on at the same time, that's your resistance or your belief that you can't have it. And therefore, that's your subconscious bubble talk that could be blocking it. And you spin your wheels if you have your gas and your brake on at the same time and you go nowhere. So it's a lot easier to get what you want, get what you choose to have in your life, if you just focus on the conscious thought without the resistance. You let go of the brake. Many of us let go of the gas instead of the brake. Hi, Pooley. Many of us let go of that. We let go of that um, gas. We let go of our desire. We know how to do that. We just settle and say, well, it's not meant for me. That's, that's not going to happen this lifetime or whatever. So what I'm here to do is in essence of being and all the other programs that we have around the world is to help you focus on things that you really want and maybe give you some tips and some thoughts about what to focus on because what you focus on expands, it gets bigger. So that's my little bubble talk, sh bubble talk spiel. Hi, Wally, that I'll tell you <coughs> that why I'm doing this. And so for now, though, let's see if I can get the cards in focus. Let's see. For now, we're going to pull one of these cards as I do every Tuesday and Friday so you can get burged, so you can have your bubble talk. Uh, bubble talk with birds. So let's pull what our card is today. I don't know. Let's see. It could be so. I hope it's a good one. Let's see. <laughs> well, well, well. Let's see. What did Burge pull? All right. Let's see if you can see it. Attachment clouds the truth. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Attachment clouds the truth. So see if you can see that with my new light kit here. 
I'm trying a different color for my light kit to see if you can see me better. So attachment clouds the truth. I'm hoping you can see the pretty, pretty card. Okay. So it says, if you are attached to something, you can limit your ability for the universe to help you in the way that is highest and best for you. So think about it. What are you attached to? Are you attached to it looking a certain way, a certain amount of money, a certain man, a certain woman? Um, I'm supposed to be a certain way by the time I'm 50 or whatever your attachments are. Sometimes it can really limit you. It can really limit you as to what can come your way because you're very focused. It's got to be this way in this time period. So what I always say is this. If you want to be attached to something, don't be attached to the outcome. Don't be attached to how it's going to come to you. Be attached to the journey. And what that means is as you're moving toward life and you're working toward your goals and you're, you know, you have some goals or you have an outcome that you'd like to have, but you let go of the attachment of when it's going to come, how it's going to come, it, it can open up so many other ways that you may not even know. You may not even know how it's supposed to come to you in a way that you thought it could. Have you ever had anything happen to you out of order? In other words, you thought it had to be this time period and then it happened maybe a year later or it happened at a later time and you thought, wow, I'm glad it happened at that later time because if it had happened when I wanted it to happen, then all of these things would not have lined up. So it's all divine time. It's all universal time. Hi, Steve. It's all universal time, meaning that you pray for the highest good for all concerned in divine time, whatever that is to you, whatever that looks like to you, in perfect timing. So if you get really attached to it being a certain way, you see how it can limit you, and if it doesn't come that way, you feel bad. You start feeling like you couldn't make it happen, or you start feeling guilty, or you start feeling I'm not good enough. Yeah, Denise says, that's a good one for me. Yeah, it's a good one for me too, attachment. Letting go of the attachments that it has to be a certain way at a certain time. And again, you can be really focused on the outcome of what you want, but letting go of the attachment to it that if you don't get it in the time period or the way that you want it to come to you, it makes you feel bad. If you let go of that and just say, you know what? I trust and allow and don't ask how. I trust and allow and don't ask how it's coming in divine time. It's coming in perfect timing. Okay. So if we get really making sure that, you know, especially if you want a paycheck to come a certain time or you need money to come to you in a certain time or you need a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend or, a, a, you know, maybe it's a health decision or something. So it eases you, it eases your energy, it eases you down so that you can relax into knowing it's happening in perfect time. It helps you let go of being stressed out or a being anxious about something. You know, I'm really attached to having things at a certain time for all the workshops that I'm doing. I've got all these workshops coming up back to back to back. And I'm attached to, I've got to have it all done. Everything has to be just lined up right. And we got to make sure everything's there and this. And, and so I get really anxious. And so in order for me to, for this is what it means for me and why we pulled it this weekend, is just allowing everything to come into place in perfect time. Turning it over. Turning it over to the universe. And what that means is you, your universe can mean God or great spirit or universe or energy. Whatever you want to call it. Okay, turning it over and saying everything's coming to me in divine time. Everything's coming into me to perfect time. I may not know what that is. I may not know what it looks like. And I'm willing to choose to allow that. I'm willing to turn it over and say, you know what? I'm not in control of this exactly. So I am going to allow it to come through for me in the perfect timing. 
Okay. So yes, Karen says, I do do that. Of course, I get really attached. I have to have it a certain way in a certain time. I've got to make sure everything's there. And so I start freaking out if it's not or making sure. And so one thing for me and for all of us this weekend, I really want us to look at what are we attached to? Are we attached to the point where we get so fixated on it that if it doesn't happen then or the way we want it, that it makes us feel bad. So again, attachment, you can be focused on something, be focused on the journey of allowing it. Be focused on the journey, not the destination. Be focused on adding value. I'm really attached to adding value in the world. I don't know how, I don't know when, but I know that overall, in the grand scheme of things, I'm adding value. And if I know that in my heart and in my mind, then I know that whatever is happening is happening in perfect time and trusting that. And what that does is it just lets me ease down a little bit. It makes me feel easy. It makes things just kind of flow easier. So I'm not so uh, just, you know, tense and worried and all those things. Yes, you always add value. Well, we all add value. And the thing I'm trying to say is this, that when I say attachment clouds the truth, if you can see it, oh, this new light kit, if you can see that, it's beautiful. Clouding the truth can mean there all these good gifts are here for us. We are here for a reason. We are here to make a difference and that we are important and that we matter. And all of those things that get in the way of us realizing that, it's just things getting in the way. It's being our attachments. Because none of it really matters, really, in the grand scheme of things, because everything, we're here for one thing and one thing only. We're here to experience, and we're here to experience our value and to share our value with people. So don't ever give up on yourself. Don't ever think it's too late for me, or don't ever think that you just can't get it, whatever it is. So if you just let go of the when and the how and just enjoy the journey of allow. Ooh, I like that. Forget the when and the how, enjoy the journey of allow. I got to write that one down. That's going to be in my next book and in my next set of cards. In our workshops, we have a lot of cool sayings that we come up with, and that's a good one. I'll have to go back and look at that. Oh, Beth Pulley says, I'm attached to you. Oh. Well, and that's the thing, right? We get attached to people. We do, we get attached to people. And the thing about that is, when you, when you say attached, it's sort of like you're, you're saying, um, if you're not there, who am I? Okay, so when, especially in relationships, we do that, don't we? So if we're saying, if you're not in my life, then there's something missing, okay? So the thing I'd like to really honor all of us is this, is that we have everything that we need within us that we are whole and complete and that we don't need anybody else out on the outside of us to complete us, okay? That we are whole and complete, we're connected and owning that connection, what that does, instead of saying, if you're not with me, I'm you know, my better half or uh, if you're not with me, I feel lost or I don't feel whatever it is or I don't feel important, Instead of thinking of it that way, you could look at it as when I'm whole and complete and I attract another whole and complete person to me, we expand. We become bigger than we can by ourselves. And so if you really attach to a person, you know, sometimes you're basically giving your power away to that person. And also you're saying, I'm, you know, who am I without that person? So when you say better half or those types of things, or if you're really attached to somebody being with you, then what you can do is really set yourself up, right? Set yourself up for disappointment and certainly despair and all those things when they're not in your life. So a healthier way, in my opinion, and it may not be a popular way, but is to say, you know what? I don't need anything from anybody to make me feel loved or lovable. So I choose to own and love myself enough to fill myself up 
fill up my own void, fill up my own hole so I know that I'm important and that I matter and that I'm loved. And by doing that, when I do attract other people around me, we create something even bigger than we could by ourselves. It's expansive instead of contracting. So when you get really attached to something, it can actually contract the energy that you're focusing on instead of expanding. So again, if you want to focus on something, focus on the journey of adding value. And that will allow you to really master moving through life without too much stress and anxiety, without um, too much hurt and pain and disappointment because it didn't come the way you wanted it or when you wanted it. Does that make sense, I hope? And Karen says, and if you want more Burge, Burgeisms, contact me about our upcoming Essence of Being workshops. That's right. We've got a lot coming up. At the end of April, we have Essence of Being in Florida. And then we have Higher Vibes, which is my woo-woo class in Florida and in Atlanta in May. And then we have a lot of other things going on in London, Atlanta, New York. I'll be in New York next week. But for now, this weekend, just notice, what am I attached to? And... If you find yourself really feeling attached to it showing up the way and when you want it, just let go. Just turn it over to the universe. Turn it over to God and say, you know what? It's happening exactly in the time that I choose. It's happening exactly in the time that's best served for me and for everyone. So I always say I pray for the highest good for all concerned. So you can't go wrong doing that, whatever it is. So Denise says, can't wait for Higher Vibes. Me either. It's so awesome. So until we see each other again on Tuesday, I'll be back live, Facebook live with uh, Bur Bubble Talk with Burge. And hopefully this uh, new light kit is better than the one I had that was orange last week. But I'll see you Tuesday, if not before. And we'll pull another card. But get your own cards and pull them every day for your own oracle or your own inspiration. And I really look forward to playing with all of you soon. So what you focus on expands, everybody.